Artificial wave pools are designed to produce ocean-like waves that can fascinate and thrill people visiting the pool. Some of these waves are already exhausting and taxing for untrained swimmers to take on. Now imagine how bad the results would be if something were to go horribly wrong. Today, we'll be looking at 5 dangerous wave pools you shouldn't visit no matter what. Number 5. Calypso Water Park In a hot summer like this one, swimming pools and water parks are favored refuges from the heat. So a spate of spills of potentially deadly chlorine used as a pool disinfectant has got to be worrying for families looking for a cool place to relax. One such incident occurred in 2012 at the Calypso Water Park near Ottawa where 13 children were hospitalized by a chlorine leak. The affected children were hospitalized after apparently inhaling the gas, which triggered vomiting, choking, and foaming at the mouth, the citizen said. Calypso's statement that the affected children were all in an area of the pool where several outlets from the water filtration system were located. Calypso apparently was already under investigation by the Ontario Technical Standards and Safety Authority, which oversees amusement parks, after an accident on its water slide that sent two men to the hospital. Number 4. Yulong Shuyun Water Park an electronic malfunction apparently triggered a mammoth rogue wave in a packed tsunami swimming pool at a water park in China that injured 44 people. Swimmers on floats waiting to enjoy a series of waves on Wednesday were suddenly picked up by a giant wave and hurled onto other swimmers or the cement of the pool at the Yulong Shuyun Water Park in Longjing near the North Korea border, reported the South China Morning Post. Most of the injuries were not serious, though some people suffered fractured ribs and at least five were held for treatment in a local hospital. According to the initial stages of the investigation, the incident was caused by a power cut that damaged electronic equipment in the tsunami pool control room, which led to the waves in the pool becoming too big and injuring people, said city officials, according to the South China Morning Post. Number 3. Waterworld a 48-year-old man died at Waterworld, an apparent drowning victim, Joanne Gomez, a spokesperson for the water theme park, said. The Adams County Coroner's Office identified the man as Mikhail Valov of Arvada. A spokesperson at the coroner's office said the official cause of death has not yet been determined. The park was celebrating its 30th anniversary that summer. Gomez said the man was at Waterworld with his wife and teenage son. A lifeguard saw him in the Captain Jack Pool, a half-million-gallon wave pool known for its gentle waves. She said the man's head was above water, but the lifeguard became concerned because the man wasn't moving and not making eye contact. The lifeguard jumped into the pool, pulled the man out, and with the Waterworld paramedic, tried to revive him. The incident occurred about 5.30 p.m. July 21, 2009, towards the end of the day. Gomez said there were 125 lifeguards on duty at the time of the 300 employed by the park. Number 2. Raging Water San Jose Water Park A child nearly drowned at the Raging Water San Jose Water Park Friday, 29 June 2018 and was taken to the hospital where she was immediately taken under the care of the medical staff, a fire captain said. The 12-year-old girl was pulled from the water of the wave pool at around 11 a.m. by a lifeguard who performed CPR on her, achieving a return of spontaneous circulation with spontaneous respirations, according to San Jose Fire Captain Mitchell Matlow. The park is located at 2333 S. White Road. A fire department crew dispatched to the scene at around 11.05 a.m initiated and continued life support until arrival at the emergency department, according to Matlow. The fire captain said the child was taken by county ambulance and San Jose fire paramedics to the hospital. Number 1. Captain Jack's Wave Pool Waterworld Waterworld in Federal Heights, Colorado is one of the largest water parks in the United States, covering over 67 acres. It actually holds two wave pools, the Captain Jack's Wave Pool and the Thunder Bay Wave Pool. Captain Jack's Wave Pool is huge, holding over 500,000 gallons of water. It creates multiple waves at a time 
with waves surging through the pool every 10 minutes. Thunder Bay Wave Pool is even bigger, with 1.1 million gallons of water. Thunder Bay is especially dangerous as it produces several different types of waves, including ocean-type waves that produce strong currents in the pool. As such, many people claim that neither pool is particularly safe. But of the two pools, only Captain Jack's has caused a fatality. In 2009, a 49-year-old man was found unresponsive in the Captain Jack wave pool. He was taken to the hospital where he was pronounced dead. If you'd like to get your mind off with something more light-hearted, you can check out some of the other videos on our channel. Until next time, be cool guys.